morning everyone! We came to our 28th country, beautiful Estonia and now we're in the capital city Tallinn. To be honest, we barely slept the whole night because we were preparing and we were trying to find the best hidden gems, the interesting stories for you and I will be a spoiler, but there are so many of them! Yeah, so in this video we're gonna show you beautiful Tallinn through its legends and myth that have fed the souls and minds of the Estonians for over a thousand years. So let's go! Let's go. Looking like a pervert. Listen to Bavarian jokes about Berlin. Is that everybody wants to pet this beautiful borzoi? And <laughs> just look like a crazy person. And that's a great reason to do it. So the first legend is very easily missable. It's about a statue over there of a guy sitting on the roof. He looks very nice presented himself. He has a very beautiful coat, a nice button shirt, and a very great haircut. However, looks can be deceiving. Legend has it that there used to be a merchant that lived here with his beautiful wife who had a very boring life, nonchalant. Uh, however, one day the wife was undressing herself and she was changing as she noticed an old man staring at her through the window. Disgusted by this, she ran to her husband downstairs and they plotted their revenge. The husband hired the best architecture he could afford and the sculptor uh, made a sculpture of the old man and he placed it on top of his house so that the next time the old man looks and his beautiful wives, he'll be confronted by himself staring back at him, cast it in stone. Next up is the oldest pharmacy in Europe. Let's go have a look and then I'll tell you a very interesting story. The only physical contact the doctor had with the patients was to check his pulse because most of the times the doctors concentrated on the inner sickness, so all the bloody surgeries until the 18th century were allowed for the barbers. The doctors of the Middle Ages were not practitioners. Their knowledge lied in philosophy of religion, astrology, magic, and anatomy. The scope of the barbers was considerable, removing tumors, setting bones, letting blood out, and pulling teeth. And now we have the town hall tower and here I prepared another legend for you. But first you have to climb to the top and find a man wearing a hat and carrying a spear. Okay, thank you. The stairs are getting steeper. It's so far. And the sides are getting more narrow. <laughs> Look at this, it's like a whole foot. Watch. So her fold. We were told that he's going to be at the top of the tower, but they didn't tell us he's going to be at the top of the tower and you can actually get to him. According to the legend, this is Thomas, who as a young boy shot down a pair from the top of the pole. It was a medieval competition for archery and nobody was able to do it until a young boy came along and shot it down in one go. He instantly became a guard and later on a great soldier. And in his memory after he died, they built his statue and put it on the top so he can overlook and still protect the city until now. One of the four houses was turned into a Korean and Catholic church, and there are a few reasons why the tourists come here. The first one is a mailbox. During the whole day, you can write your wish, put it inside, and they will pray for you. And this says that this wish will definitely come true. And the second reason is because in this church you can find the Holy Mother of Three Hands. This is Josephat, and she is Josephat. He was a good friend. 
to a caliph uh, in Egypt. Friends of this caliph, he hate him. <laughs> and he say, you are Christian, uh, and I cut your hand. Uh, and he was a believer, and he prayed to God day and night, and the hand was growing. So the legion. <laughs> uh, oh, and therefore, the Madonna of the three hands. So we definitely recommend coming inside this church because the guy inside is very nice, very talkative, and he has great stories. We spent about two hours here in Estonia in the Ukrainian Greek church listening to Bavarian jokes about Berlin. You never know what you're gonna get. We're gonna pause the legends just for a little bit. We're gonna go into the oldest cafe in Tallinn. It's been beloved point since 1864. Everybody wants to pet this beautiful borzoi. Of course, if he or she likes them. Let's see. Then my day is better. I made mean, somebody's day better. My day is better. <laughs> yes. Thank you. here in the middle. Uh, it looks like it has a compass on it so maybe that's a little hint for you guys. Um, but the legend says that if you step on top of it and spin around nine times you'll have a vision. And it said that people have spun around here and it has all kinds of psychedelic experiences and visions. However, as soon as you pass the side of city walls you instantly forget them. So while this legend is not a secret, none of the tourists will know what's going on because it's not discussed in any of the tourist information centers. So you can spin yourself around sick and nobody will know what's going on. You just look like a crazy person. And that's a great reason to do it. Is it nine times yet? And once you're done spinning yourself sick, I have another task for you. It said that it's almost impossible to see all the five medieval church spires all at once. However, in this spot, with a little twisting and bending, and maybe getting on your toes, you should be able to see all five. So there's one, two, three, four, and if you look over there, right in the cut of the thingy, there's the fifth one. Aisle five. One of the things you'll notice is here in Old Town, there's not a lot of tall buildings. That is because there's one of the churches here that you cannot build legally higher than. This church was the tallest building in the world for 75 years before one other building is very well known. The Eiffel Tower was built. The construction of St. Olive's Church caused a lot of trouble for the city. For a century, the private treasury and half the population worked on this building and all the merchants were forced to give up all their materials just to have the highest building in the world. It said that seven workers fell from these high walls and only one survived and his name was Olive. Olive survived to finish the building, however he died just two days later after the church was built. And it also was struck over 13 times now by lightning. But there is something I have to warn you. When you're in Tallinn, beware of a man in a red cloak. The legend says that the medieval city hired the executioner, and it was bad luck to meet him, so he was made to wear the bright cloak. If you do meet him, don't be so upset, because we have something that can help you to change your luck. The story says that chimney sweeps in Tallinn still continue to wear the 19th century uniform, and if you come across one, make sure to rub his brass buttons 
it says that it's really good luck. The story of this bronze chimney sweep is that in the old days when people saw him, they did all they could to touch the buttons on his coats. They used to have gold buttons on the uniforms, and it was considered especially lucky if you could get the button to yourself. So this culture is in the memory of all those men who not only climbed roof, but brought good luck to all the people in the city. Here's my height. <laughs> Just understand why people touch his nose. Maybe it's another legend. This next legend is known not only in Estonia, but also in Denmark. Legend says that a Danish king, Valdemir II, invaded Tallinn, but despite an early victory, the Estonians fought back and drove his forces all the way back to the brink of defeat. In the most desperate hour, the king fell to his knees and prayed to the heavens for some kind of miracle. Suddenly, the skies opened up and a red flag with a white cross fell down, landing on the king's feet. Motivated by this miracle, the Danish army fought back and conquered Tallinn. The king adopted this as the official flag of Denmark and today it is the longest serving national flag in the world. We really hope that you enjoyed the legends and learned something new about this beautiful city of Tallinn. We're gonna end the evening with some beer at one of the traditional restaurants here. And actually, I have an idea. If you have any legends you'd like to share about your own city or about Tallinn, let us know in the comments below. Maybe we'll visit you next.